Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a vlog of any kind. Um, I've been uh, in school, um, been trying to recertify my EMT, got all that done. So hopefully now I got a couple weeks before school starts back up and get a lot of flying in. Um, I've been working on a little project uh, I'm going to show to you guys, share with you. Um, I wasn't going to do this um, this way, but uh, my friend said, uh, can't wait to see that fly. So here's what I did. I took the Source 1 open source blueprints from TBS and uh, converted them to 3D print, 3D printed it out and uh, like I said I would just want to see what the frame looked like and how sturdy it was and my friend said I can't wait to see that fly. So uh, I decided why not I got some parts laying around. I don't expect it to fly well. Um, it does have a new camera on it. Um, we'll start out with a test hover. Then we'll go fly FPV. The FPV footage will probably be DVR because I don't really want to put a GoPro on here. Who knows what's going to happen. And uh, even if I lose the quad or something, um, you know, it's not that big of a loss. It's just some old parts. So uh, let's get on with it and see what happens. He does flips and doesn't blow up. Really spongy marshmallowy though. She's not very responsive. That could be motor prop combination. Uh, plus maybe the flex in the in the arms just doesn't take off like it should. Um, warrants another battery though. Let's see what happens. It, a 3d printed TBS source one frame um, it worked believe it or not uh, like I said some of the other some of the things I saw you know could easily be motors um, prop combination a little both maybe it is a flexibility of the frame everything seems okay after flying um, I didn't bring a computer so I can't tweak some of the some of the PID values because that could be it too I don't know um, Either way, uh, probably won't be the last you see of this. I might try it again. Um, why not? I got a built quad. If anything, I could be my sketchy quad. If I do something really sketchy, I could use it. Anyway, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, 3D printed TBS Source One. Uh, I might, I don't know, think it's open source, so I'd probably post the STLs onto uh, Thingiverse uh, as long as I say that it's a TBS Source One. So let me know if you guys are interested. I'll uh, put those files up. Thanks. All right, guys, uh, trying out my new phone here. But I just want to add an update to the end of this video. Um, <clears throat> I got back and uh, double checked the rates on that quad, and they were not my regular rates. So they were a little dumbed down. 
that could easily be why it didn't feel right so I'll have to post an updated video here shortly I won't get to fly for a few days so maybe next week anyway hope you enjoyed thanks for watching please like and subscribe thanks